Tonight, the IRS launching a watchdog investigation after two of former President Trump's favorite punching bags found themselves under an incredibly rare IRS audit. According to the New York Times, both former FBI Director James Comey and his deputy, Andrew McCabe, received letters from the tax agency informing them their tax returns were, quote, selected at random. Both men provided those audit notices to the paper. The odds of being chosen for such an intensive audit? Roughly one in 30,000. Comey received the letter in 2019, while McCabe learned of his audit in 2021. Both men drew the ire of the former president frequently. Comey's a liar and a leaker. You know, you know, I did you a great favor when I fired this guy. And McCabe and Comey, who lied to Congress and did so many other bad things. These are bad, corrupt people. These are bad people and very bad for our country. Trump even accusing both men of treason, a crime punishable by death, in an exchange with our Peter Alexander. Who specifically are you accusing of treason? Well, I think a number of people, and I think what you look is that they have unsuccessfully tried to take down the wrong person. If you look at Comey, if you look at McCabe. Comey, in 2018, didn't hold back his feelings about Trump either. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. Years of this dramatic discourse leading Comey to suggest Trump may have had something to do with the audits, telling The New York Times, maybe it's a coincidence or maybe somebody misused the IRS to get at a political enemy. Given the role Trump wants to continue to play in our country, we should know the answer to that question. McCabe coming to a similar conclusion on CNN Wednesday. Um, it just defies logic to think that there wasn't some other factor involved here. I think that's a reasonable question. When asked about the audit, former President Trump telling The Times through a representative, quote, I have no knowledge of this. An IRS spokesperson telling NBC News, it's ludicrous and untrue to suggest that senior IRS officials somehow targeted specific individuals for audits. The agency now referring the matter to the Treasury Inspector General for review. All right, Maura Barrett joins us now from Washington. Maura, this is either two things, a wild story or a wild coincidence. So while we wait for the results of that review, do we know how the audits turned out? Yeah, Tom, the audits have been completed. The first one from 2017 reportedly found that Comey and his wife actually overpaid. They told the Times that they received almost a $350 refund. Meanwhile, McCabe and his wife told the Times that they actually owed a little bit extra, a small sum, they say, that they paid back. Okay, Tom. has the Biden administration said anything about this today? Well, Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre did answer a question about whether the president has confidence in the IRS commissioner, who was a Trump appointee. She refused to answer directly and said, saying repeatedly uh, that his term is up in November. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.